What's up, everybody? Just give me a quick second here. I am going to put in the uh, link for the blog post that I'm going to be talking about. Okay, so, hey, how you doing? Uh, Sam here with your Sammy Shares video. And today is not only an online business tips video, it is also a daily development video. So, uh, what I wanted to talk about is healthy morning ritual. Now, I'm going to split it into two parts of the video, so don't go too long. I'm going to talk about four, the first four today, and I'm going to talk about the second four tomorrow, okay? For those of you who just want to get on with it, like uh, today, that's cool. If you'll notice here on the side over here in the comments, uh, you'll actually see that there is a blog post link there. And the things that I'm going to talk about are actually going to be in the blog post already. Okay. So point number one, like when it, uh, sorry, first, let me break this down. What is a morning ritual? A morning ritual is essentially a routine, something that you go through to kind of get yourself going, right? And there is tremendous value in really dominating the first sort of 30 to 90 minutes of your day, right? There is, uh, there is a reason why. People who are very, very successful all over the world, you know, have morning rituals. And the reason being is because it really primes them to be in the best possible state, to be as functional as possible so that they can dominate the upcoming day. Okay, so there are a number of things that you can look at, physical, spiritual, psychological, you know, mental, uh, financial and physical. Uh, if I think I might have mentioned physical already. Anyways, so. Today, I, I wanted to focus mostly uh, on on physical type on physical type of things. Although for your healthy morning rituals, you can literally do anything. Because I mean, one of the healthiest things you could do is have an attitude of gratitude, right? One of the healthiest things you could do is, is have meditation on a daily basis. You know, one of the healthiest things you could do, you know, spir uh, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, is visualizing on a daily basis. So. Just for the sake of this video, I'm going to focus more on physical things and mention some spiritual things. Okay, so. Uh, the point number one that I wanted to talk about is meditation. Now, meditation has so many uh, op uh, values to it. Like, there's so many benefits to doing this one particular thing. And so, what I, one thing that I do encourage people to do is practice mindfulness, okay? So, mindfulness is basically being present and in the moment with everything that's happening and everything that's going on, okay? Irrespective of what's around you or what's happening. And that's what meditation allows you to do. It allows you to lock in at a level that perhaps maybe you wouldn't without the practice, right? So the practice allows you to kind of expand your ability to really focus. And, and also as well, the biggest thing for me in terms of meditation is the calmness, right? Uh, me, I'm a very fiery person. I'm a very passionate person. I, I live with a lot of emotion and I'm working my best on getting better at that. But here's the thing, meditation, even just the two minutes at the beginning of my day, by, by focusing on a breathing meditation, so that's Breathing in, inhaling through my, my uh, mouth, holding for five seconds, in exhaling for five seconds, right? That Doing that for two minutes brings a calmness to the beginning of my day before I get going that shows me that physiologically I am in control of my day. There is a subconscious message as well going to the back of my mind due to the first 30 minutes us being in the mental states that we are, it really allows us to access the subconscious, okay? Which is something I'll talk more about in the future, but not in this video, just way outside the scope of this video. So, meditation. Now, you can obviously practice it for as long as you want. You can sit there and chant home for, you know, four hours a day if you really want to. I personally don't have the time, nor do I really have the patience, to be completely honest. Even if I had the four hours available in the day, I wouldn't meditate four hours a day. Science has proven that you can gain the same mental factors right, <clears throat> from 10 minutes of practice per day. So how do you apply this and how come I don't apply 10 minutes? Because for me, that two minutes is enough to calm me, okay? Uh, you don't have to apply all of these tips that I'm telling you about. You just find what works best for you, right, and, and incorporate into your current routine and how you actually go about, you know, being successful, okay? So, excuse me for a minute there. Point number two, a healthy morning ritual number two, if you will, touch a passion. This is something that I got from my uh, mental, which really helped me in my most deepest and darkest moments of my life. And I will never forget this. And it's something that I continue to apply to my life every single day. Now, what's a passion? A passion is anything that you feel strongly for, right? So it can be for me, for example, my passions, for example, my kids, uh, my fiance, my business, uh, my health, my fitness, basketball is a huge passion as well. So touch a passion on a daily basis, right? So this, what this does is it allows you to live passionately, right? It makes sense. If you're gonna to touch something that you're passionate about, get involved in it in a conversation maybe, 
um, it will it will create passion and fire and enthusiasm in your life that you won't get from anywhere else. It, when I came to realize, like at, at you know my deepest darkest times, is I wasn't touching any passions at all. Right? I, I went through like three or four weeks of d- deep dark depression, and it wasn't until I started applying that that it actually really my life really started to turn around, and it turned around quite rapidly. Right? Because I was injecting passion and enthusiasm into my life consciously on a day-to-day basis, all right? So find out whatever your passions are. It doesn't matter what they are, guys. Like it could be sex, it could be sports, it could be business, it could be, I don't know, health and fitness. It doesn't matter. The point is, is you find out what your passion is and you try your best to touch it on a daily basis. If you can't, then you then you try it as much, as, as often as you can, right? Twice a week, three times a week. I know, what, uh, you know, when my kids are here, I can't play basketball every day, right? And that's cool, I'm, I'm okay with that, right? But then on the days that I can't get to basketball and it doesn't fit into my schedule, I make sure I'm involved in other passions, my business, right? Communicating with my fiance, so on and so forth, okay? So, uh, healthy ritual number, uh, sorry, healthy morning ritual number three, all right? So, healthy meals. Now, I'm probably one of the worst people to give you advice on this, and here's the reason why. I actually don't eat breakfast. And seeing as this is healthy morning rituals, you're probably thinking, okay, so do I have oatmeal? Do I have wheat bix Do I have just right? I, I don't know, okay? I'm probably the worst person to talk to in terms of your healthy morning meals because I do a thing called intermittent fasting every single day, right? Where I fast anywhere from 12 to 18 hours on a day-to-day basis. Now, how do you apply this to your life then and what advice can I give you? Here's the thing. If you are going to have a, a, a morning meal, which quite frankly you don't need, then you make sure it's as healthy as you can possibly be based on your metabolism, your personality, your body shape, your genes, so on and so forth. There are so many things that I cannot give you one set meal that works for everyone. There's a reason why there's so many different diets and they work for so many different people because everybody is different. Hello, hello, right? There's no real surprise there. Here's the thing. If I'm going to recommend you one meal to have, I'd recommend that you have a healthy smoothie. Now, I've written in the past about healthy coffee smoothie, and I can put a link here, or if anyone wants it, just mention, you know, just say coffee, right? And I'll give you the link. And what you can do is you, if you don't, uh, if you have coffee, you're going to love that. Okay, I love that shit. I, I drink it and I'm not, after my like 12 to 16 hour fast, and I'm not hungry for another two, three hours after that, after one drink, okay? If you don't like coffee, remove the coffee and apply everything else. And that's the meal that I would suggest that you have to start your day. You want to start your day. You know, there's a reason it's called breakfast because back in the days, they didn't necessarily eat dinner all the time, right? It got dark. They didn't have lights. Couldn't always set a fire, right? So that's the reason why it's called breakfast. Break fast, right? Anyway, I won't go too deeply into that in case you guys think I'm some sort of a conspiracy theorist or some shit. So anyways, if you're going to apply something, apply the smoothie, comment, comment coffee, and I'll give you the link. Uh to that particular blog post so you can learn what it's all about, right? So healthy morning ritual number four. The fourth and final four today is gratitude. Now, gratitude is something that I try to practice on a daily basis. It falls under the uh, mindfulness category along with meditation, okay? So, and I'll, I'll talk more about like more, more physical things that are coming up tomorrow, okay? But this is absolutely important for your mental and emotional health. If you can wake up with an attitude of gratitude, it changes your outlook on everything that's going on around you, right? And that includes that includes the way you look at the challenges that are going on in your life. This, it, it, it also, like, I mean, literally anything you're looking at, right? What is good, well, you'll see as great. What's great, you'll see as amazing. What's bad, you'll see as an opportunity, right? This is what attitude uh, gratitude does. It shifts your mindset so you see not only the opportunities, but you see the goodness that can come out of any particular situation that is in your life. And here's what I've found. Having an attitude of gratitude has changed my perspective on everything in life. And I'll be honest, prior to applying it consistently, I was a grumpy, angry, fucking asshole. Okay, excuse my language, but that's the truth. It is the straight up truth. Now, I've still got a long way to go because I'm a passionate person. When passion comes fire, right? But here's the thing. Since applying the attitude, my, my attitude of gratitude outlook, right, then it, it's really shifted my, my mindset as to how I look at things, being more grateful for what's going on rather than bitching and moaning about what's actually happening. Um, so what you can do, there's, there's two different ways that I've applied this, and I'll tell you which one 
works better for me. The first thing is you can write three small things uh, on a daily basis that you're grateful for. For example, like journaling, if you will. So when you wake up in the morning, I am, I am grateful that I woke up. I am grateful that I have access to water. I am grateful that I can have a shower. I am grateful that it's sunny out, right? These are tiny little things, but by writing them out and, and, and having that moment of feeling, actual feeling gratitude, shifts everything that's going on in your life. If you ever, if you believe or understand any, anything about vibratory power, that's something that you you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. What I choose to do with gratitude, because I've done the journaling thing and it doesn't work for me, but that's because I'm not kinesthetic. If you're a hands-on person, right, and you have to do things and that works best for you in terms of your learning and your application of everything that's going on in your life, that's cool. Journaling will work. Writing those things down will work for you. Me, I'm an auditory person, so I like to hear things, right? So what I like to do is what I call vocalizing. Vocalizing basically means that I say what I'm grateful for and it puts me in a state and a, vi and a vibration that makes me feel amazing because I'm an auditory person, that's more valuable to me. That's why I can sit at lectures for two, three hours and not be bored, provided it's information that I like listening to. That's why I can listen to eight hours of, of, of audio books, you know, in three or four days, because I like listening, right? You may not be that way. So you need to understand the way it is that you prefer to learn and, and, and channel your life in that direction because your natural strength to do so, okay? So how I choose to uh, apply it is vocalizing. So I sit there and literally just for 60 seconds, it's nothing, 60 seconds goes like this before you realize. And I just sit there and I'm like, I'm so happy and grateful that I woke up this morning. I'm so happy and grateful that I have access to clean water. I'm so happy and grateful that I can have a shower. I'm so happy and grateful for the superfoods that are available to me in my kitchen. I'm so happy and grateful for the work opportunities that I have so that I can provide for my family. I'm so happy and grateful for all the business opportunities that are available to me in my life. I am so happy and grateful for the income that I have because it allows me to provide and live a lifestyle that I am happy to have. I'm so happy and grateful for the beautiful relationships that I have in my life. I'm so happy and grateful for the challenges that are coming my way that are helping me build my character so I can become the person that I want to be. Okay, 60 seconds, it's nothing. But the key is to say it because I'm auditory and it, and it creates power in my life. And especially in that first 30 minutes when my subconscious mind is available, it really locks in and, and, power, and powers up what's truly valuable to me. Putting me in a state of gratitude and changing my vibration so that I'm working at a different level from what I normally work at. So figure out what works for you. Those are the two that I've applied. There are other things I've done in terms of journal that really goes to a whole different ballgame, but I didn't like that because it took way too much time, okay? For me, gratitude is about what you feel. It's not necessarily about what you write and the fact that you say, oh, I'm so grateful that I woke up today. So I'm so grateful that, you know, it's sunny outside. Like, no, fuck that. You're killing your vibration. Now, I understand you may not be feeling or bubbly and shit first thing in the morning. You don't necessarily want to do it. That's fine. Feel it when you actually say, I'm so happy and grateful that it's sunny outside. I'm so happy and grateful that I woke up this morning, okay? That for me is the key. It's all about the vibration. It's the energy management. And what you're actually doing is you're, you're giving energy to the things that you're truly grateful for and therefore you'll be rewarded with more things to be grateful for, all right? I hope that makes some sort of sense. I am sweating like a pig because it is 2 p.m. and it's hot as shit. So I'm gonna say goodbye for now. And thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this video. It went for four minutes longer than it should have been, but I love this sort of stuff and I sure hope you do too, okay? So again, the four things that I touched upon today, meditation, 10 minutes a day is scientifically proven enough to give you the benefits of uh, conscious rewiring, okay? Two is to touch a passion. Whatever your passion may be, try to touch it on a daily basis. 15 to 20 minutes is enough, okay? If you're gonna have a healthy meal, I'm gonna highly suggest you have smoothies. And if you want it, just comment smoothie and I will give you the link so that you can start applying that to your life. Number four is gratitude. You can either write write small uh, three small things into your uh, journal that you're truly grateful for, or you can go through the vocalizing exercise that I just mentioned, all right? So thank you all so much for stopping by and watching this video. I appreciate you all so much. I'll talk about the next four tomorrow, which will be a lot more physical for these healthy morning rituals that you're wanting to apply, okay? Thank you again. Peace out. Much love. And I'll see you all again then.